So we're here right now in Preston's Melbourne, checking out a property that we just got for one of our clients. So this property here, one of my clients just picked up for $6 million. And prior to settlement, we had a valuation done by CBA, a proper bank valuation for $7 million. How good are we? I mean, imagine getting a million dollar uplift straight off the bat. So what we like about this property, number one, it's, it was bought off the market. Number two, it's in a very well-established Preston's area. Number three, it's got a long-standing tenant that has a very viable business. And then also number four, it's got massive rental upside as well. So this property here is under-rented. Once the lease expires, we're hoping that we can increase the rent by somewhere around sort of 30 to maybe 40% which uh, represent tremendous upside. But, you know, apart from that, there's opportunity to refinance straight away because we've got that extra million dollar equity uplift. And we're just going to sit on the property for the next sort of two years or so and then hit the tenant with a market review. So love this property, big property. And I'll show you the numbers once we get back to the office. All right, so we're back in the office now. So let me take you through the numbers and explain why we felt that there was a great opportunity for us to buy and the rationale behind what the upside could potentially be. Now, before I get into that, I just wanna also quickly explain how we actually got this property in the first place. So as I mentioned, this property was bought off the market and the way um, that we operate um, at Property Alliance is that um, you know we have very strong, uh, highly qualified uh, and you know high quality uh, clients that are ready to buy. And because of this reputation that we have, um, we develop really strong relationships with a lot of selling agents across the nation. Um, and this property was brought to us by a selling agent, which we had a uh, which had we have a very strong relationship with. And because of our reputation, they knew that we can perform. Um, the reason that the reason for that is the reason I say this is because the vendor at the time, they wanted to sell this property quietly. That's why they want to sell it off the market. They didn't really want a lot of people to know that they're selling. They want to attract a lot of attention for you know reasons uh, of their own. Um, so, so to that end, um, the selling agent knew that we had qualified and quality clients at that level so that we can do a quick deal. And as a matter of fact, um, we did turn around this deal very, very quickly. Um, and one of the reasons also is because you know we weren't competing with a bunch of other buyers. You know, if you were looking at this property as an on-market campaign, we will potentially be competing with half a dozen other buyers. Um, so that resulted in a really good um, purchase price for our client um, with tremendous upside. So that's the backstory on how we actually got the property um, and, you know, for our strong relationship with selling agents and owners um, and just our reputation. Now, getting into the numbers now. Um, so when this property was brought to us, you know, we looked at a number of things, you know, obviously we looked at you know, the location, we looked at the size and we looked at the, uh, the rental income. Um, and one of the first things that we noticed is that, um, the rental income seemed like it was below market rent. So we did some further investigations to confirm that. Now, before I get into those evidence, just quickly, quick overview on the property. It's a large, uh, freestanding warehouse, um, as per the video. Um, the, the, the total building area is about 2,876 square meters. Land size is about 4,046 square meters. And the rental at the time um, was $325,000 net per annum, which equated to $113 per square meter net. Um, because it was sold off market, um, there was no asking price per se. So the vendor relied on us to provide an offer which is totally fine. So to that end, we spent um, a lot of time gathering a lot of leasing evidence. Um, my team and I, we, um, we hit the phones, we spend probably half a day, um, like real time half a day, gathering all this leasing evidence. Um, and as a matter of fact, I probably shouldn't be sharing this with you because a lot of this took a lot of effort. My team and I took a lot of effort gathering this. But hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to share it with you um, openly because I think it's valuable to you <clears throat> um, as a viewer of this video. Uh, excuse me. So, um, so as you can see from all this leasing evidence, um, most of the uh, property of a similar location, size, and build and grade 
are all leasing uh, over $140 per square meter. Um, and looking at some of the sales evidence, now there wasn't a lot of sales because it's a very tightly held market, but there was enough sales for us to formulate a view. You know, some things that we're looking at in particular were the um, you know price per square meter build, um, and you know what the yields are at as well. Um, so after reviewing all this leasing and sales evidence, we're able to formulate a view on what this Preston warehouse should be worth. Um, so we adopted 140 to 150 dollars per square meter net. So that's what we felt the property should be getting. Um, and in terms of price per square meter build, um, we believe that the market price for that asset at the time should be somewhere between $2,000 to $2,500 per square meter. Um, we ended up doing a deal at $6 million, uh, which was a really good outcome because that translated to a price per square meter build of around $2,000 square meters, $2,000 per square meter, which is at the lower range of the market. So we knew there was upside potential. And then the other thing also is that it also equated to a net yield of 5.4%, which is uh, really good considering that the market yield is probably around that 5% mark. So we bought this at a really, really good price. So the idea here is, you know, we're buying a, a well-established property in a well-established market at a re relatively great net yield. So we're going to sit on a property um, for the next, you know, four years or so, um, enjoy the rental income. And then when it's time for a market review, you know, we are going to look at increasing the rent from $113 per square meter to whatever the market rent is at the time. Now, obviously we've done some projections ourselves and we don't have a crystal ball, so we can't say for certain what the rent's gonna be in four years time, but we've made some pretty calculated um, assessments, which I think are probably extremely conservative. So. If we're saying that the market rent at the time of purchase is $145 per square meter net, just by applying four years worth of CPI increases, that would get us to $170 per square meter net in 2028, which is when the lease expires. Now, this has not taken into consideration any market movements. As a matter of fact, I think rental growth in that market um, should probably sit somewhere between seven to 10 percent per annum over the next four years. But I'm being ultra conservative and I'm just applying CPI increases over the next four years to get to this number. So if um, my assumptions are correct, which I believe I will be and uh, because I'm highly conservative, then the rental figure in four years time should sit at around $488,000 net. Now, if we apply a very soft and conservative cap rate of five and a half percent, the property should be valued at around that sort of, you know, $8.99 million. Now, in the video, I did mention that the valuer from CBA actually valued this property at $7 million. We bought this for $6 million. So we bought this property at a $1 million discount. So how did the value come up with $7 million? Well, he looked at the property um, in two ways. Looked at it from a yield basis and also from a um, capital value basis. So on a yield basis, he actually adopted 5% at, as a cap rate. So on the passing rent of $325,000, um, he valued that at $6.5 million on a cap, uh, cap rate basis of 5%. The other way that he looked at it was on a capital value basis, and he adopted $2,500 per square meter, which is exactly what we put on our spreadsheet. Um, so at $2,500 per square meter, the valuation came in at $7.2 million. So, so he ended up adopting $7 million as a valuation of this property based on those two methods. Now, I, we personally felt that was a little bit conservative because we – Felt that the property should be valued at around $7.2 million. But hey, look, nonetheless, it's a great result for our client. So 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you understood um, the rationale on how we assess properties. Um, and we assess properties on all levels um, between two to $20 million. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you probably enjoyed um, the, uh, the video of my recent Melbourne trip. So I'll put a link uh, up above. Please check it out. If you do like this channel, please subscribe and please like, and I'll see you in the next one.